This video is designed as a very brief introduction to Photoshop and it's really a companion to the more extensive handout that's available for the class. So this PDF uh, is a step-by-step -step look at Photoshop and you can walk through, there's a table of contents, you can click through to specific topics if you're interested in how to use a tool or an overview of toning or captioning. Uh, but the handout is, is quite detailed and one of its features uh, is some short video tutorials on a specific topic. So when you reach that part of the tutorial and you want to learn how to use the lasso tool, for example, you, certain, you simply uh, open that link and it will take you to a short video on the lasso tool as well as some of the other tools and features of Photoshop. But I do want to just kind of walk you through how Photoshop uh, works uh, very briefly. Um, not as a uh, hands-on, follow-me kind of tutorial, but just an overview of what's possible. Uh, what's important to know is that Photoshop is an extremely powerful tool. Uh, we could spend an entire semester working with Photoshop um, alone, learning how to... Uh, create advertisements and change backgrounds and manipulate the way people look and change the color of their shirt and that's not at all what this class is about. We're going to learn some very basic ways of adjusting a photo, of perhaps correcting a color or lightening or brightening an area of a photo, applying a caption, uh, that kind of thing. And, and then we'll look at that again using Lightroom, which is a, another tool made by Adobe. So I wanted to spend a couple of minutes and, and let you see how Photoshop works. And then when you start using the handout, hopefully it will make a little bit more sense. And then if you're still having problems, obviously you can ask me. We can uh, talk via email or Skype or face-to-face uh, -face if you're in State College. Um, there are tutorials online. There's lots of ways to get help with Photoshop. So this is what the newest version of Photoshop looks like. It'll show you any recent photos that you've opened. Um, let me open uh, one of the photos I uh, set aside for this demonstration. So I'm going to take that photo and I can either uh, have used Photoshop and said open and navigated to this. Uh, I'm on a Mac. It would be a, a little bit different on a PC. Or I can grab that file and drag it onto the icon for Photoshop uh, and it should open. And you'll see very simply and quickly that there are a set of tools down along the left side. Um, I'll show you how some of those work. On the right are a series of what uh, we call panels or windows and they show you different features and you can access those up here from the window drop down menu. So you can see there's a whole long list of of uh, ways of um, accessing Photoshop's power, but we're going to keep this again very simple. The image itself is right here in the middle. I just want to show you some very basic adjustments. How would we uh, quickly uh, fix a color or crop or tone a photo? So as we look at this photo, let me go to the top tool up here. As we look at this photo, uh, it looks a little bit yellow to me. Um, so that's one thing I'm going to show you how to fix. Uh, we'll look at whether it's too bright or too dark and cropping those very basic features. So the cropping tool is over here and you'll see as I roll over any tool that it gives me the name and in parentheses it gives me the quick key. So the letter C would take me to the cropping tool and you'll get this box and I could choose to crop. In this case I don't think the photo needs to be cropped but if I wanted to I could certainly do that. And then I would simply double click and apply that crop. You'll notice the history um, window over here. If you're not seeing it, you would come up to window and select history. And it shows you each step that you've made as you're working through Photoshop. And so if you want to back up and undo something, you can just click back one step. There are multiple, multiple ways to make adjustments in Photoshop. Let me just show you a few. If I want to fix the color of this image, I'm going to use image adjust levels. Command L or Control, I believe Control L on a, or Alt L, I guess, on a PC, but con Command L on a Macintosh computer. It brings up this window. This histogram should look familiar to you from some of the camera tutorials. It's a re representation of the photo's brightness and darkness. And you can see in this particular photo that there's a little gap here at the beginning. This triangle is white, it's my whites. This is the shadows, these are the midtones. So I can drag this up just a bit, and you'll see it just brightens the photo just a bit. If I start to come inside the histogram information, I start to lose detail uh, increasingly in the bright areas and then in the midtones and all the way up. 
But if I just bring it up to the base of this mountain, I'm sort of resetting Photoshop. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to close that. And I'm going to bring that up again, and I'm going to show you how I correct for small color inconsistencies. So as I said, this overall photo uh, is a little bit yellow. If the whites of these mats, and I know they were white because I was there, if they were, were white, everything in the photo would reset. And so instead of get, having this yellow cast, we're going to get rid of that. And this is explained in the handout, but I'm going to select this white eyedropper. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to select something that's white, in this case the map board, and I'm going to leave the mouse, the selector, right there on the, on the map board. And I'm going to use the tab key on my computer, and I'm going to tab over and you'll see that I've highlighted the A, which is set at negative 1. I'm going to reset that to 0. I'm going to tab again and set the B to 0. I'm going to hit OK, all of this without moving the mouse. I'm going to hit OK or return on my keyboard. And now without moving my mouse, I'm going to click on that same spot and you should notice, now I can move my mouse, that the picture has a much more neutral, um, more accurate color to it. And now you can hit OK. You can, you can ignore this warning. And you'll see if I came back to my history over here, went back to the beginning, yellow, yellow with some crop, and then with my fixed color. And so that's a very basic way, um, once you get the hang of it, for fixing um, some simple color uh, corrections. Um, I could bring up my levels again if I wanted to, and again, I'd play around with different uh, mixes of shadow, highlight, and midtone, so this tool can be very useful. Um, if you wanted to adjust part of this photo, if I wanted to lighten her face a little bit, there are uh, many ways to do that. The simplest way would be to use this tool over here. Uh, it's called the burn, or if I click and hold the dodge tool. And then if I use the bracket keys on my computer, or if I come up here to uh, brush size, I can change the size of this brush. I'm gonna just adjust that a little bit. I can then lighten her face. And that was a very small amount. If, you, if I use the history, you can see that I've applied just a little bit of lightness to her face. So very quickly, I've showed you how to fix color, how to crop, how to adjust the entire image, and how to adjust a piece of your photo. And the last thing I'll show you is how we would apply a caption, file, file info. Your caption is going to go in this description field. This is your caption. Uh, we'll talk more about captions in later lessons, but this information is searchable and is digitally linked to your photo, so it's crucial that this information is complete and is accurate. Get names, spell things correctly, use proper grammar. At this point, I'd be done with this photo. I would come up to File, Save As. I would give it a new name, your name and maybe the assignment name, save it to the proper folder as we've discussed in other uh, um, lessons, and you'd be good to go. Save. We're generally going to save images as JPEGs at their highest quality. You'd hit OK, and you'd be done. I know that was very fast. Uh, the idea was not that you learned everything about Photoshop in these few minutes, but that you got a sort of overview of the very basic features of this very powerful program. Read through the tutorial step by step, uh, practice, take some pictures, open them in Photoshop until you feel comfortable using the program. If you have any questions, uh, please, please just, just let me know.